I just finished weights for the day and it hurts so bad to walk. You know a workout's good when every single part of your body hurts after it. Well, okay, that only makes sense if it hurts in a good way, like you're sore and you know you're gonna get stronger from it. Sometimes it's not good if you get hurt and everything hurts in a bad way and you cannot move anymore. That's not typically good, but this is a good kind of hurt. My body is in a state of soreness. And I thought it would be a good idea to walk to practice today. Big mistake. I need to clean this place again. I just dropped my camera on the concrete in a puddle. So if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be very upset. I need to go to the store to get a gallon of water because our water is currently brown for some reason and I ran out of my gallon of water that I bought the other day because I drank it all. So, I'm gonna do that. That says winter sale, but it's 55 degrees outside. So I absolutely love the Midwest for one reason. We get all the seasons, not just four times a year, but pretty much every other day. Yesterday and two days ago, I was wearing two sweatshirts and a leather jacket, and I was still freezing walking around campus. Today I'm wearing short sleeves because it went from zero degrees yesterday, it's 55 currently. It's weird because like when it goes from 65 down to about, eh, about 30, everyone just bundles up and it's really cold, but when it goes from zero to 30, everyone's in shorts and t-shirts and long sleeve shirts because for some reason that feels warm to us. Welcome to the Midwest. Let me explain that last clip. I was essentially just checking to make sure this camera's image stabilization still worked because I dropped it. The sharpness still looks exactly the same. I mean, it's not the sharpest camera, um, but it looks the same. It looks to be working. The speed of the camera's just fine. It's just got a bunch of scuff marks all across the ring and on the edges of the camera, but I think it survived the fall. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, be sure to hit subscribe because I'm here every day. I have to be awake in eight hours, which means I'm gonna go fall asleep right there for hopefully seven and a half. It takes me forever to fall asleep. It's probably some like insomnia issue because that runs in my family, but I am not 100% sure why it takes me so long to fall asleep. So I'm gonna go lie down, hopefully fall asleep soon. Hopefully get at least seven and a half to eight hours to be in tip-top shape for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. I've got a lot of stuff planned, a lot of nerve-wracking stuff, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a learning experience. Tomorrow's going to have highs, it's gonna have lows just like every single day. And how I face the day and what my attitude is throughout the day will have a big impact on how the day goes for me. So I'm hoping to wake up, best mood ever, enjoy the day, but we'll see how it goes. See y'all tomorrow.